Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to do an old problem. I got this from 1904 college examination papers and I thought that it's an interesting problem to discuss in this video. So let's do that. We have 10 of 69 plus 10 of 33 minus 10 of 39 minus 10 of 3 and we need to evaluate this expression. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think how to solve this and we will see you in about 15 seconds. Obviously, when we have a problem like this, we are going to benefit from a lot of different identities. And let's start with the first one. We have tan of a minus tan of b. We can replace it with sine of a minus b over cosine of a times cosine of b. You can verify this identity by just replacing values that we have for tan and then you will see what you need to see. The tricky part here is using 69 and 39 together and 33 and 3 together. I think it's kind of obvious because we are going to end up with 69 minus 39 which is 30 and we are going to use 33 minus 3 which is 30 again. Now if we do this you are going to see sine of 30 cosine of 69, cosine of 39, cosine of 33, and cosine of 3. From here, we need to simplify. I'm going to just start with using 1 over 2 instead of sine of 30. If we do this, then we are going to end up with the expression that you are seeing here. Now, we need to continue to simplify what we have here. Let's start with using an identity that you see here in green. 2 cosine of a times cosine of b can be written as cosine of a plus b plus cosine of a minus b. Here we have 69 and 39. I'm going to write it as cosine of 108 plus cosine of 30. For cosine of 33 and cosine of 3, I'm going to replace that with cosine of 36 plus cosine of 30. Now we have the expression that you see here. In this expression, we have cosine of 30, which is a good thing, but we have cosine of 108 and cosine of 36, which are unknown for us. I'm going to replace cosine of 108 with negative cosine of 72. Let's keep cosine of 36 as is. Now I'm going to replace cosine of 72 with sine of 18. We have sine of 18 and cosine of 36. Now note that we already have sine of 18 as a square root of 5 minus 1 over 4. If you don't know that, remember 18 times 5 is 90 and you can just use this 5 times 18 equals to 90 to find sine of 18. When sine of 18 is known, we can find cosine of 36 and it's basically a square root of 5 plus 1 over 4. From here, we just need to replace. Now we are using a square root of 3 over 2 for cosine of 30 and then after applying some simplification you are seeing two terms. For both of them we have 4 as nominator. Then we have 2 times a square root of 3 plus 1 minus a square root of 5 and 2 times a square root of 3 plus 1 plus a square root of 5 as the denominator. From here, you just need to apply some simplifications. If you are having problems, follow the steps that I have here, and at the end, you will see 6 times the square root of 3 minus 8 as the final answer. 
Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities, and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel, and we will see you in the next video.